Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Shrek 2 and this movie came out in 2004 and it, it has all the same cast are returning and this movie is directed by three directors, Andrew Adamson from the first Shrek movie, one of two directors of the first Shrek movie, but also, and sorry if I mispronounced their, your names if you're watching this, Conrad Vernon and Kelly Osprey. <laughs> if I pronounce this correctly. <laughs> and I thought this movie was awesome. <laughs> and uh, just an improvement on everything that I liked about uh, the first uh, Shrek movie. And it also expands on it. Also has the elements that I really loved about uh, the first movie. And uh, the first movie is basically just like a parody of like Disney fairy tale folklore movies and like just having fun with that. And this movie uh, does the same thing as well. I liked uh, what was uh, brought to the table for this movie, and I like the characters a lot. I like uh, the journey that each character goes through. They're all very likable. And also, uh, just like uh, the first movie, there's some uh, movie references, and the two that uh, stood out the most to me were the reference to Lord of the Rings, specifically Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, and also... There was a reference to Alien, <laughs> which caught me off guard, <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny. And I did find this movie overall to be very funny and very entertaining, and the animation was also improved over the first movie because it's three years later. I just found uh, the characters to be stronger in this film as well, and I do like a Puss in Boots. I thought he was kind of a fun addition, but if I were to have any complaints with the movie, I would say that... His introduction was fun, and, like, he has a, a fun presence to him. That's about all there is. He doesn't really do a whole lot. He's just kind of there as a gag character for the most part, which was a little bit of a letdown for me, but... And the villains, I thought, were great in this movie as well. They were a standout uh, part, and just like the first movie, just as strong and uh, had uh, funny quirks to them, and overall, they worked. And I did uh, like uh, the music in this movie more than I did in the first movie. I thought that was an improvement also. And basically this movie is just the first movie, but better. It updated and expanded on. And it's fun to watch. And everything that's added in this movie not only makes this movie better as a standalone film, but it also makes the first movie better because you're also understanding why things were done the way that they were and you get more detail into like Fiona's life and and that stuff uh, I did find to be interesting. I found the mid credit scene to be kind of funny and I know that's not really a huge thing to talk about but that was uh, something that stood out to me <laughs> when that came around. And all in all uh, this movie was just a blast. I love the story and the characters. I love the satire, and the jokes are pretty funny throughout, and the characters uh, work for me, especially the villains, which I wasn't really expecting. I remember seeing this movie in theaters and liking it, but I didn't expect to love it as much as I did this time watching it. And also, I forgot to mention this about the first Shrek movie. The first uh, Shrek movie won an Oscar, believe it or not, for Best Animated Feature Film, and this one was nominated for Best Animated Feature Film, but it did not win. The other two films that I was competing with were Shark Tale and The Incredibles, and The Incredibles took it. And I haven't seen that movie in a while, and I would like to revisit that movie. And all in all, I would highly recommend that you check this movie out, even if you haven't seen the first uh, Shrek movie. Like, this is uh, still a very good standalone uh, movie. Like, it gets all the things that any other movie would need to get right. It gets right, and the performances are very good, and I just love everything about it, for the most part. So check this movie out whenever you get the chance, and with all that being said, I'm going to give Shrek 2 a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Shrek 2 and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for 
Shrek the Third. So look forward to that. But until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.